Hello everybody and welcome once again to Read the Beast Ocean Block. So today we are going to carry on and do some mystical agriculture. Um, behind me you can see I've got these mushrooms. They, they basically speed up the growth of um, rich soil. So let's get started. So between episodes I've done quite a lot of um, preparation for this episode. Wait for this to come up. We'll go and get it and see how quickly oh, that's it. How quickly the how quickly the oxygen supply disappears. Let's get this out as well. So what I've been doing is I've did the mushrooms and I planted all the mushrooms of the oh look, got some mobs around here. I want to do something with the mob spawner as well today. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Get rid of them. <laughs> let them let them die and get some. Gives us some a little bit of XP. So anyway, sorry, what I was saying is I've done all these mushrooms, of all the different types of mushrooms from um, from botany. So but they're all in these things here, producing lots of little um, simmering mushrooms down here, which we can then use later on, instead of petals. So it actually saves one step in the process. Right, sorry, let's get on. The first thing I want to do here is to actually look at this one here. This is some nether bricks, which and some netherrack, some soul sand, and some nether wool will give us these nether agglomeratio. That's actually one thing I would quite like to do as a seed, pretty straightforward as it happens. And then we'll put those into a pot. But first of all, let's get started with this. So we would like to have, um, and we want infusion. So we can see what we can need for the infusion altar. We need eight of these pedestals, which are like this. So we need some red, carpet red carpet we can do with two carpets that will give us three or maybe we'll just make eight pieces of carpet we need three sets of this so how many have i forgot so 22 and i only need about three nine i'm just coming a quick calculate let's have a think so we need eight of those and that's two each that's 16 plus three that's 19 so we've got nine we'll have to make 24 won't we how many have we got there 15 18 21 24 like that and then we just need to put some red dye in the middle of those i think i've got some red dye in here i've got these petal yes i've got these poppy seeds here which we can easily turn into red i think how many do we need we need that's eight three three of these don't we that's not too many and then we should be able to make some red carpets let's go around the outside of these like that and then put three dyes in the middle and we should get eight red 24 red carpet so we should be able to make up eight of these let's do start with this one first of all so this is the in, the altar itself and then we need eight pedestals that's going to give us ten we don't need ten just put, put two away like that and then we can take eight pedestals so we do have a few bits left over oh we'll actually have no i don't have a set so that's one of the things about this you you have just numbers that are <clears throat> just a bit difficult <laughs> so let's put that away like that so now we've got these, we also need a button. Buttons are probably as good as any to do with this one because you press the button and you set everything going. So I'm going to just put this down over here somewhere. I think here's a good place to do it because I don't come over here that often and we don't do too much. So all we have to do is put the altar in the middle like that. And then it shows us where we have to put the, the actual pedestals. So let's put these down. I think there should be one here. <laughs> yes, I was looking at it, it didn't look quite right. And press, press F7, make sure we got no dark patches, which of course we have. Um, can I, I had to put those into my, oh, where are the torches? I put them into my off hand there. We can right click those into that. So that should be okay. Yes, it is good. Oof, missed. I'll break this with a pickaxe. I think it's a pickaxe we need, yes quite hard best not missing well, but better but better not missing so then all we need to do is to put down a button here in fact there are three seeds i'd like to make today so the first one of those is going to be the nether seed because we need netherrack lots of netherrack will help us prepare um will to help us do this in fact if we actually use basalt here we'll get netherite and we'll also get some um netherite strange noise so what we need for that 
we need to make up the uh, infusion crystal. So we can only make this one up at the moment. So I need some inferior essence. I've got the diamond already and some uh, prosperity shards. So well, let's go and get some prosperity shards from in here. We should have enough prosperity shards. We'll take a stack. I'll do it this way. I'll press shift and get a stack of those out of there. And then inferior essence will get, how many stacks have we got in here? 10. I would like to make, yeah, I think that'll do. I've got five stacks. Four stacks will make a soup premium essence. So let's make this up. So we need the, the infusion stone like this. Should we be able to click this into the place? And then we can basically shift click these into here. Uh, I only got four stacks. Did I only get four stacks? And that will make prudentium essence. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the prudentium essence. We've actually not got quite good enough, but that's fine. That's good actually what we've got. So then we can make the the, the seeds up. Um, now, where are my seeds? I just need some wheat. In fact, they're probably in here actually thinking about it. No, there aren't any seeds in there. Did I put any in here? I've got seeds in there and I've got some bits and pieces in here, like three three seeds, perfect. So what we'll do is we'll make up the, these three seeds to being um, like this. Um, I've got this wrong. What have I got wrong here? So I need. <laughs> I've forgotten the recipe. Let's have a look. Um, we need to make up prosperity seeds, prosperity base seeds. Let's have a look at use of these. We should five pages. That's not too bad. We can quickly go through these. That's prosperity. I've got something wrong. Hold on. I'll be back in a second. Oh, I'd forgotten in this pack, you have to put them in the tempered glass jars uh, with no heat and that will produce these. So let's get everything. <laughs> I was still going a bit crazy. I didn't, didn't quite get it. There we are. But that's fairly straightforward now. Let's get rid of those and take those over here. So here we can do that in this one. So there's nothing else. I don't think there's anything processing in here. Let's just stop that. Yeah, there's nothing, no recipes there. Everything would run out. So we need these plus we only want to put in as many as we need. So we need four. Oh, sorry, I have to do this like that. That's right, four per thing. So we actually need 12. That will make the seeds up, and then we can click this temperature jar here and select the right recipe, which is this one, and run that. And then these three will actually run out at the same time, I hope. It's a bit longer than I wanted it to be, never mind. So there we have our first seed. And that should be in here. I'll let those run through. The other ones will just run through and produce this. So now we can actually make up the um, nether, uh, the nether seed. So let's do that one. So if you ever remember any of this stuff, here, you put the seed in the middle. You want to convert. You put. In this case, it's prudentium essence. I do happen to know that the uses of the agglomeration one is prudentium essence. In fact, it doesn't matter. I thought it. I thought the position actually mattered, so we just we can put them anywhere. One, two, three, four. If you're looking at the the picture, and then you can put these on the other ones here, which are. Then you just press the button, and it makes the seed for you. So we have our first seed. Now this particular seed here, if we take and have a look at the use of this one, we want to put this into the botany pots, and so we have to have. Um, I would imagine Prudentium Essence and say, yes, we can. Okay, as long as we've got something higher than Prudentium Farmland, we can do it. So let's go and make, actually go and make the next level up and see what I'd like to do is see if it goes faster. But first of all, we'll actually just make some Prudentium Farmland up. Um, so we've got the Prudentium Essence here like this. We also need some dirt. And we need a hoe. This is shapeless graphing. It'll make Prudentium farmland like this. This is good because this will replace some of the, the crops we're, we're producing at the moment. So I'm just having a look which one we can actually use. I'm pretty sure I've got some empty ones around here somewhere. Oh, I've got two. I've got two melons as it happens like this. So let's just use an empty hand and shift right click this. So we'll have to also remove from here the um, 
anything in my off hand because it doesn't work with something in your off hand a shift right click this like that then we can put the farmland in here and on top of that we can then put the seed so now we've got another essence cloak um <laughs> nether ethnic growing so we're going to get some nether crops out of it in the meantime we've got all of these uh, pumpkins uh, melons i mean which i've also got another melon in here and i think this one's running on snad or something no it's not i don't know what the, the difference is anyway i'll move this stuff about so the next thing we're going to make is the ice seed the ice seed's an interesting one we need to make a nature seed and an ice seed so for that i need some snow but i need ice so if we have a look at the ice seed in here i've actually got the seeds ready in here like this so if we have a look at um it's actually a tier one seed so we can actually type in here atmosphere tier one seed and you will see the different seeds so this is the ice seed here so this one needs uh inferior essence and ice ice we can get from this which is an ice charge this was actually a mob drop or we can get some obviously we can get ice essence but that's what we're trying to make temperature we can freeze water with this one but we don't have to make this one and that's actually made with ice but Britannia we can use a block of snow in a mana pool with the alchemy catalyst will produce ice so I've got four blocks of snow in here I think already prepared I think the snow came from the frost melon by the way so all we need to do then is to drop these into here let's, well, that's already in position good let's just press Q on this hopefully we don't so we've now got four ice so we just need the inferior essence and another seed we'll take both seeds with us and we can then start to do this one and the last one of these which is the hard one to make was the um, nature's was in fact the um nature seed and that's a really good one to have once you've done it because you can basically remove most of the crops that we've got down here for a nature seed let's put these down here Press the button now we get our ice seed i'll also do a dirt seed but i'll do this off camera and we'll also because it's not a very difficult one this one's the tricky one because it's got multiple stages uh and here, here i've got some rich soil but let's just remove this rich soil from here we've got some farmland here as well so we can use the farmland i took from last time which is this one let's put that with some prudentium essence here and that'll be, uh, sorry inferior essence and that'll produce them from inferior farmland which we can then plant the ice seed on they're a bit spread out i'll move these around later on so the last one i'd like to make would be the in nature essence the nature essence was the hardest one to do um which is actually a tier two seed as well as uh, this one so let's have a look at tier two seeds and the nature essence is this one so we need this um nature agglomerate Plum ratio so that was pumpkins potatoes sugarcane and it was the hard one was cactus so i should have all of those ingredients prepared somewhere i've forgotten where i put it i'll tell you what, i'll be back in a second when i found it well i don't know what i did with them anyway i've made up some more nature essence the recipe again if you by the way in case you forgot missed that was these so we've got four of those we've got some pretentium and we've got another seed we can go and quickly make another um of seed let's go and do that for nature essence and this is a very good one because this allows us to get kelp now kelp is one of the ingredients that we need in order to get out of this base um uh, that was pretentium next wasn't it miss try again seed in the middle press the button and then we should have a nature seed in fact this particular essence allows all sorts of things to make all sorts of things so let's go and put this in one of these pots i think this pot will do just fine here i've got again i've got some rich soil in here let's get rid of this um, you can, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter the fact it's actually got one block underneath there oops that dropped in a funny place um it will work just just fine i just need to get some dirt which i haven't got with me and some essence and i'll pre i'll prepare that and come back in a sec so i've got the ingredients we need now well instead of doing um uh, prudentium we'll actually use intertium essence in here because we can do that and that will make i'm not sure if it makes it grow faster 
it'd be quite nice to find out. So we've got to put that into here, put the seed into that, and that's going to grow. So that takes one minute, 22 or so seconds for this one. And the other one we planted was over here. Where did I put it? Ah, that's the ice seed, but that was a low level one. Um, ah, here we are, nether essence. So that's, so this has just got Prudentium farmland on it. Uh, well, let's see if it's more than one, one minute 22. Yeah, one minute 29. I think it's a little bit quicker, but it might be the particular crop, so we'll see. In the meantime, this one's growing up reasonably well, and we've actually got 31 inferium seeds, so we could potentially plant another 31. I'm not going to. Uh, essences. So the next thing I'd like to do is to improve the um, mob grinder. So as you can see over here, it's working. It's working okay. As you can see, it's dropping a bit of essence from the uh, gold. I'll just right click the guy for reaching like that, and we're getting definitely stuff in here. But it's not great. For example, spiders are not getting caught. And there's one here, so just open the door. He can't get to us, so we can we can easily sort him out with a like that <laughs> with an iron spike, and because there's the iron spike or just above here. So what I would like to do now is to pick up these spikes. I'm going to pick up all three of these spikes. They will, what will happen is that uh, probably that one drops into the hob. We'll put that one down there, and then this one probably just needs an axe, and this one will need to be picked up with a pickaxe. And we can actually put down a torch somewhere in the middle of this. Oh, I've got no torch there. Sometimes I have them on my off hand, but I didn't today, so let's put them down here like this. And that'll light, that'll light it up. So it almost fully lit up. I'll put one down there for safety. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig up these three hoppers. So let's do that first. And it's dropped down. What I would also do is fill this up with some stone. Uh, I've got two pieces of stone, it's not enough for what I want, but it'll it'll do for now. So we could just go down and pick up those. Where do they go to? I did pick them up, I think. So I'll fill this in here, but what we're going to do is I'm going to put here, I'm going to put into this space here a fan, a mob fan. And here we're going to move the door to this place here. And around the back here, I've basically built up this area and it's, it's we're all working on slabs and here we've got steps. Mobs do not spawn on slabs or steps. So this bit area is actually safe. So first of all, we're going to make some bits and pieces up. And here I've got in here different things which are actually already prepared. And the mod is, is at mob grinding utilities. So we have all of these items in mob grinding utilities. I'm actually going to make a monocle. I'm not sure if that has any particular use. What else if you been? Uh, maybe it's just uh, maybe it's just protection. We'll see. I need to make two mob fans. So let's make in two of these mob fans. I've actually got the materials enough for three, but I'm going to make two. I think that's what I wanted to do. But I'm not 100% sure it was a while ago. I'm also going to make some entity conveyors. Let's make up two sets of those. So that gives us 12. We're also going to make up a mob masher. This is the one that's really good because we've got everything here. Iron swords, just the iron spikes, which have just broken down. Block of iron, and a block of redstone, three diamonds. And I'm missing one of the spikes. Did I not pick up a spike? That must be in here. And then we can make the mob masher. So all these things are actually not too difficult to set up. I was a bit surprised. I thought it'd be hard in the R. And then the next one of these we can make is a an ender inhibitor. So for an ender inhibitor, we need eyes of ender. I'm going to make two eyes of ender because we need one for this and we need one for the vacuum hopper. So this is the vacuum absorption hopper. So let's make uh, this entity inhibitor. Now what basically this does, it prevents the enderman uh, teleporting. And this one here basically sucks up everything that's around. So, but it has a range. It's a five by five range, I 
think. It's not very big, but we can extend these later on. One of the things we need is feathers. Now, I don't have any feathers. Um, oh, maybe I've got enough room for another mob fan. So let's make another mob fan up. I've got enough materials for another mob fan. And I think that was the other one I wanted to make. So let's put this. So we've got three mob fans. The mob fans have a range of around about seven blocks. So now I can remove this door here like this. I will remove the lever above it like that and we'll put these over here so that I would like the mob fan to go here and push outwards so what you do with mob fans is you basically come along here um, put it down like this and then that's facing this direction so it needs a redstone signal to be active and then we can show the area hide the area so it is pushing around one block is that all? I thought you did a bit, from, a bit more than one block. I thought you did about seven blocks. It seems to be short. I, I'm pretty sure it does more than one block. I'm going to put another one in here like this. And then I was going to put mob conveyors down here. So let's actually not, let's not bother with that. Let's break that one and put in this, another fan here. I'm sure these go back seven blocks. Yeah, that's better. So it goes to this point here. And here we're going to put down the mob masher, like that. I don't know. Yeah, that looks, that looks decent. So I'll just get some... Now, what we need to do now is I'm going to put the door back here. Before I put the door down, of course, I've got to break a hole. A hole. Um, there is water about here, as you can see. These are dropping. I don't think it's dripping underneath this one. But just in case it is, let me see. I've got blocks. I will use. I would use some dirt just in case. Get dirt in my hand just in case this block above me is is waterlogged. Oops, it is. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. But we can simply sort that out with a, with some cobblestone that I've dug out here. Let's put that cobblestone there, and then we can put the lever on top of this one here like this. Oh. I should have a lever, of course, yes. So now we can put the door into place. Oops, wrong. Oops, wrong. I think do that often. So the door should automatically open. Well, it would do if I'd actually... Um, OK, I have to open it manually then. If it would have done if I'd put, if I'd leave, put the lever on, wouldn't it? So, yeah, we can break this one now. So now it stays open. So here we can put a redstone signal. So let's put the redstone signal where the, where the mob grinder is. And it in fact, it's going to be here. One block above, I mean, sorry. So that should now activate the mob grinder. We can check. See, now that's rotating. Fantastic. We can do the same with the fans. Um, like that and like this. I also need another another lever I'm not going to turn these on just yet before we do this I'm going to fill it in and take out the torches so I'll be back in a second so I've got levers for all of this it's now filled in let's just break these two here as you can see it's nice and dark in here let's just put another stone block on top of this one here so it doesn't look as though we've got anything in it here it's, it's actually not lit up in fact, it is lit up, so I'm not sure from where. There must be one torch here. Here I'm going to put in here, I've made a hole, and we're going to put in the absorption hopper. So let's put the absorption hopper in here. Like that. And I should really show the area on this one. You see that picked up that cobblestone straight away. So if we show the area here. It's in the middle of an area. Um, as you can see, here's a, bar, here's a line. What we can do is we can move this around a bit. So we come here and then we can do on offset. So that's the up down offset. So if we push that up one, so it's one level higher. And I think I'm not sure to look control and put the mini map on. So I'm now I'm facing south. So I, th I think if I want to put uh, items, I th reckon it's on the north side. Let's just see. Yeah, you see, you get this little little side in here. So we can then put um, something in the middle of this so we can take the um, whatever's falling out of here. We'll do that. So so we now need to move this south 
and north. I think probably need to move it east and west a bit. And I'm not sure which way east and west is. Let's just do it like this. Go and have a look around here. You'll see it's moved. In fact, I moved it the wrong way. Um, so that needs to be minus on the east-west side. Like this. And we can see that that's now pushing across here. We can go back one more block on that direction. And this is how you do it. So basically minus three should push it around here. But we can then push it back a bit. And you can, oh, here we are. Here's the position here. So we need, need, do need to go back a bit. So if we go north, south, plus one more. Yeah, you'll see it's here, which we can actually go one more on that way. And that's the line here. So now it's picking up everything from here to here. In fact, all the drops are going to be around about here anyway. So it makes no difference. So we'll just leave that for a bit. I need, need to pick up this chest, but what I'll do is I'll put another, I'll put a crate in its place instead of a chest. Um, crates you can open without having to have a lid above them, or we can do something else. Maybe we can make, so we could probably do need a chest. It'd be nice to put a chest in, though we didn't put the end inhibitor down either. I'll do that in a second. I think that's the same thing. You can it can be attached to any side of solid blocks, and it will just prevent eight blocks teleporting away. Okay, we'll do that. Well, in fact, we'll put that roughly where the um, the grind uh, the chest is in at the moment. So let me just get something, and I'll be back in a second. So let's put the end, ender inhibitor over here. It doesn't take up much space and it should be okay, I reckon. So the next thing I'd like to do is to put down, I've, I've made a small crate uh, like this. We could put this down. I reckon we should be able to access that. Oh, it's just tiny. <laughs> I probably do need to upgrade that almost immediately. Anyway, for the time being, we'll just turn that that's on. We'll just turn on the fans. And the one down here. Like that. So all the fans are running. We can, should be able to see everything in here running, as you can see, like that. So maybe with a bit of luck, we'll get some more mobs. The next thing we can do with this, what I can't do at the moment is any of these upgrades because they need feathers. But what we can also do is to improve the luck. So we can improve sharpness of the mob masher and we can produce looting. So the looting one is very straightforward. It's just these. And we need a we could have a maximum of 10 of these. Um, so it's just gold nuggets. So we just need 40 gold nuggets, 40 blue dye, uh, and 10 redstone. And that's all we need to make that maxed out for looting. So it's so cheap, we'll do that straight away. I'll just get the ingredients ready and we're we'll back in a second. So we've got, we need some gold nuggets, don't we? So we need 40, this will give me 45 gold nuggets. We need some blue dye. So we can, we basically do this, will give us 40, um, these plus the, the pestle and mortar should give us 40 blue dye like that. So the looting upgrade, we can simply fix straight away. We should be able to do 10 of those, no problem. So we've now got these 10 more masher upgrades. In fact, let's go and before we actually go today, we'll claim the rewards that we've got so far. I think we haven't missed anything out. So all we need to do is to put this into the mob masher. Hopefully I can reach it from, oh look. <laughs> There we go, creeper. So if we come along here and then put these into that, just shift click them in. It's probably not reaching this. It should be, this one should definitely be reaching its show area. Or is it one block back? <laughs> so what I'll do here is I just put two of these blocks here to force them into that there. You can't get past that one, but I'll maybe I'll just kill it in the meantime so we Oh, there it goes. So that all of, everything he's dropped will be picked up in here, and we see we've got eight, oh, eight gunpowder and two essence from one mob. That's fantastic. Tell you what, I'll be back. Let's just do that now and turn off all, everything in here. Let's just turn off these fans. In fact, I probably should turn off the mob matter as well, for that matter. Open the door. Mobs won't spawn when I'm here. On that one, and then just put down two of these escalator blocks, so conver entity converters, as they're called. So you can see that looks better, doesn't it? So the only bit that's really missing is this bit here. So let's just break these two. Of course, they got picked up by the hopper itself. And I, I think if we, it should go in this direction. So if we push it the wrong way around, okay, I have to do it from the other direction. 
I wasn't sure which way around we have to do this, but let's just try it out here now. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> Everything, of course, is getting picked up by the hopper. So that will now basically push those entities in there. So we don't even need to think about those either. Let's just hide the area. Everything's running again. Just turn it off, the, off this. Go back and put the switches back on again. Bob Masher and the last of the fans. And then we can leave that for a bit. In fact, I'm going to have to make a crate. I'll do that in my own time before we, before anything else. So that is completed. I will also make some um, sharpness upgrades to kill the mobs a bit quicker. It shouldn't make much difference. The sharpness upgrades are basically these. So again, we just need um, some gold nuggets and some iron swords. Nothing particularly exciting on that. And there, again, there is 10 of these. So I'll prepare that. For, uh, I'll put those in. I'll just do it because it's so, because they're so simple. So before we go, let's have a look at the quests. We haven't done anything on basic, but we have done mystical agriculture. We've done nature seeds, which is a random reward. Inferium furnace. Well, we'll keep that because it's actually handy. We, and we can do that anyway. And some wood seeds, which are all right. I'll make those. I'll take those because they're not very. It's not very special. They're dead easy to do. I'll have a quick look at the wood seeds with this one, and the recipe for that one is um, on here. So it's just logs, inferior essence, and prosperity bases. We can do all of that anyway. Oh, and I did get some more. What was the other one you saw back there? I saw some more quests. So oh yes, we did prudentium essence. I also made some titanium essence. That, uh, what did we get there? He's energy hopper starter and a band of aura. So we're actually doing all right, but <laughs> my, my inventory is a bit full. Let's just get rid of what I actually will use this one because it's a little bit faster. Um, we need to put the monocle on. So if the monocle makes any difference, other than looking uh, interesting, well, let's have a look. Let's put some of the stuff in here. Cobblestone we'll get rid of. Small crate. Is that a reward? Because if that's a reward, that's good, because then we can make the basic crate. Uh, I'll probably do that energy harvest. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting a bit messed up here. Anyway, I've claimed the rewards, so let's just put those in there, and I'll put those in the right place later on. So... So even while I was away, I've got eight arrows and seven bones. Probably was just one mob that created those. Um, so anyway, so that's it for this episode. Uh, we did a lot and I um, hope you enjoyed the episode. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.